sorry guys. That was the first time that I've ever got kicked off of a Facebook Live because something glitched. Does that, is that the universe saying, Kim, you really need a new phone? So that is perhaps what the universe is saying. So I am so sorry about that, you guys. Oh my goodness. But you gotta love Facebook Live, right? Something always goes wrong. So you have to just roll with the punches, right? Okay, so maybe that's also the universe saying, hurry up, your 30 minutes are almost over. Okay, so we talked about this guy and we're just gonna continue right on along. It is a size medium and it is 149. Perfect. Okay, next is what I'm wearing. Uh, live model today, lucky you guys. Uh, this one, we have a medium, a large, and an extra large. And it does not have the kick pleat in the back. So it is just a nice straight back. Um, but again, this is definitely one that I would wear with tons and tons of different things. It does have a front slash pocket. So if you want something with that has your phone, you can put your phone in your, in, in your pocket, super handy. Um, and definitely one that I would wear on an all year round basis, right? So medium, large and extra large. And it is, oh, I have also my little, I also have a little red tank under here. Oh, I should have worn my little red tank underneath this one. Didn't even think of it. So that also, also has a little tank under there. And this artist is named Laura Lean Subversionaire, and it's called Rising Up. Interesting. Okay, this is a print that's a repeater print for us. Um, I'm not a mustard yellow person. You'll never ever see me wearing mustard yellow. But I have to say, this is a really well done print. And on that little bit of mustard, imagine if it wasn't there, right? So the mustard kind of gives this print some life. And it also uh, does have its own tank as well because you'll never find the right mustard tank for this. Okay, uh, this one is also by Vigo. So that was our first one with that little um, sort of Mexican fiesta theme. Same artist uh, does this one. And it is called, ooh, I, it's called I Am Taking You Home Tonight. Hmm, imagine that. All right, so this is a jean jacket style. So actually this is our number one selling style. So or generally speaking, whenever a print is offered in this style, we usually take it because it is just an easy breezy style. Again, that knit, so it's not binding, it's not constricting like some of the jean jackets, but it has that kind of casual styling to it. So we're just gonna whip through these couple. We have four coming up in this print. This one, we have a large, an extra large, and a two XL, and it is 129. And next one, I actually have the scarf for this guy here too. This one is one of the brand new spring ones. Uh, it comes small, medium, large, and it kind of is that watercolor kind of effect. So let's see how close I am for that. Okay, this one is by a lady named Megan Maher, and a weird title, Group Think Number One. So, the, and she is from New York City. So to me, we're just gonna go over, we'll just make up our own inspiration along the way. So to me, this is very much of a water uh, stained glass, kind of a watercolor type of print. So stained glass kind of to me is almost, all, it's all about fitting it together, right? So this is a jean jacket style. And again, same great fit, but so nice and summery, right? Doesn't, doesn't this remind you guys of stained glass? Is it totally me? Okay, 129, this is one of the ones that is on the website. So it will be marked down online tomorrow if you prefer to buy online, um, or you can give us a call tomorrow and we can set it aside for you. It's small, medium, large. And then I, I'm gonna show you, well, actually what I'll do, since I'm not a good scarf person, um, this is what the scarves actually look like. So this is going to be one of the prizes. Um, and just how beautiful is it when it's, um, silk screened onto such a gauzy fabric. So you, the, the weight of the fabric really does connotate what the print takes as. So if you're this person, you certainly could do this or imagine if you just sort of had had it on black, right? So it doesn't that look pretty? I know it's disregarded the print beside it, but but really when you put it as a nice ground, dark ground there, it really, really works. So the scarves basically are, I would say probably one of our best sellers. They are great for a gift. And a lot of people do buy them tone on tone like this, but I love it to be just put a solid on and then you, your scarf really, really pops. So they come in a great little gift box. They're $49, they come in all the prints. Um, and this is just a, a fun little extra. So to me, this is a very like summer in Gimli kind of scarf, right? You could even use it as a pashmina probably, like they're pretty wide. So I'll just show you the, the length of it. It actually is pretty big. So we've actually sold them, like let's say you're buying a, a solid dress in one of these colors. You definitely, I just remember I'm not a scarf person. You definitely could do like this. 
So if you want your shoulders covered, like I am definitely that person, um, and you're wanting to just have a little bit of a little bit of play at the front, this is a really nice way to wear it as well. <coughs> Pardon me. Okay, so yeah, so the scarves come in, like we are pretty sold out of some of the prints, but we do have at least a dozen left. Um, and yeah, we'll be getting some more fall ones in too. Okay, moving on. Sorry, this was like, I'm at my half an hour, I know, <laughs> already. Okay, you really didn't think it was actually gonna be only 30 minutes, right? Okay, so next one is kind of another little fun pop art one. And this one is called uh, Stow in October. So for me, that would not be what I would have named this print. To me, this is a very summer loving kind of fun 60s inspired print. Um, I like it because it's just got a lot of mixed media in it, a lot of different prints. We should actually look at the other print here. So this one is pretty different also. So some of them really are reminiscent of the painting and some of them like you really can't tell unless you look at the painting. So Okay, so this one is definitely a great summer one. You can pull in tons of different colors. It is a size medium, and we also have a large and an extra large. It is 129, and it is on the website as well. Okay. Is this one the same? I think it is. Okay, so this one is a, this one is different. So this is one of the ones that can definitely go 12 months of the year for sure uh, with a gray base, and the scarf looks so different with it like it almost looks like it's a different scale but yet the colors are dead on right so you definitely like look how fun that is right really completes your outfit so again a fun little take on the yellow right so the yellow really pulls this print out i think if you didn't have the yellow in it it really would look a little bit more blah the yellow really gives it some nice spark and a nice jean style jacket we have a medium and an extra large and it is 129 not on the website this guy we only have two left and then of course the scarf. Okay, so we're just about done. We're moving on to a couple of different uh, sportswear pieces. So generally I would say like 60% of, of um, Dolceza would be straight jackets, like separate jackets, but they also do a really nice job of putting some coordinates in there as well. So I'm gonna show you a couple that have some tops and some dresses as well as a one, we only have one beach bag left, but this is a peach bag that is so well done. So it's perfect for just that little summer tote carry on. It's $59. And here's the print that you see with it. So it's, they've done such a lovely job of pulling that print out for the beach bag. So this one is, the painting is called Still Life for a Wedding Party. Hmm. So I, to me, this is kind of water lily-ish also. Um, but what a beautiful, um, this is a Georgette insert. So the top is a t-shirt, but this is actually woven Georgette. Really, really pretty and gonna be very slimming. <clears throat> uh, it doesn't have a really set in sleeve. So if you're narrow in the shoulders, probably not the best style for you. If you have football shoulders like me, it would be perfect. Uh, small and a large, and it is uh, 89 and it is on the website as well. And then also the jean style jacket. And again, that white next to your face really brings your attention up to your face. And I think it's a really um, neat print on that account. I think you can also do navy and black. So to me, I can't even almost tell if it's navy or black. It's definitely, you can do either either. And really, really done and friendly. So great with jeans. And this one is a single and we only have an extra large left. Okay, moving on. Oops. Okay, so I did tell you um, that there were some dresses. So this is a particularly gorgeous dress print. It does have a little bit of a cold shoulder. So you're either pro or con cold shoulder. So whatever you are, you are. Um, it's almost like a cutout. It's not really a cold shoulder, um, but it does have a short sleeve and lots of people love sleeves on dresses, myself included. Um, I'm not a sleeveless person, but um, this one is a really nice length as well. It's kind of right on the knee and it has a bit of an A-line to it, just a slight A-line with a cut on the bias. You can see it has a bit of a seam in the middle. And isn't that print gorgeous? Like just so stunning. So we have a medium and a large left. Oh, medium and extra large. Uh, it is on the website and it is 129. Okay, and then we have the next print. The next print is like pretty out there. <laughs> like it's it's definitely, um, you'll they'll see you coming, put it to you that way. But it's so, well done with the coloration. I mean, I'm gonna just tell you a, bit, a little bit about this guy because I think it's probably, it's called 
flower heart, which is probably pretty accurate, and by a lady named Estee McDonald. Really, really pretty. Like busy, it's busy. I mean, even for me, it's busy and I like busy. But how I would probably ground this is I would put a solid on top. I would probably do a jean jacket. I might do a little white jacket, a little sweater, and just tone down a little bit of that color. I probably wouldn't pull out any of the real bright colors. I would give it a little bit of grounding. Um, it doesn't have any black in it, so I probably would stay away. Oh, it does have a little bit of black. I would probably go white or denim to ground this print would be would be perfect. So this is actually a, a sheath style. So anybody who sort of um, um, wore hourglass figure or kind of has a rectangular, um, not triangle, inverted or X or inverted or regular, um, really, really nice style. That's just breezy, right? This is all knit. It has a gorgeous princess line with some white uh, seaming and a knee length. So this is not a super short dress for sure. It is on the website, it's 139. We have a small and a medium. And then, now this is a little bit more, this is in my wheelhouse, I gotta say. So a little bit more of an A-line. It's got just a little bit of splash and dash on it. Like you can kind of see there's a bit of a bling. Hard to see on the camera. Um, but it looks pretty different in the top, right? So we have a medium and an extra large. And it's 79 and it is listed online. Uh, like I said, the discounts will be added tomorrow and you have to put it into your cart to see the discount. So just FYI. Okay, two more, two more to go. Oh, like 40 minutes. So I only stretched it like 15 from where my original goal was. Okay, so this is a really pretty um, print as well. So this dress is um, a little bit more of an A-line than our uh, previous one. It has a V-neck. It's uh, drawn by a lady named Nancy Stella Gellinos and it's called vivacity. Oh, that might be my new favorite word, vivacity. I'm gonna Google that. Okay, so a little bit more of an A-line here, uh, knee length, definitely bra friendly, which is good. It's a double knit, so it is lined being white, obviously, you'd have to have it lined, um, but it's also heavier, like heavier than the other one. So it's gonna hang that really, really nice um, way. So it just has a slight princess line, on the front, no princess line on the back. We have a medium and a large left, and it is 129. And then in the top, which actually has been just a great little top, um, this one is pretty blues on, so it's a nice square cut. It has a cute little keyhole in the back, and we have only one left in a medium. It's 89, and just pulls out that little bit of a print, right? Like, so you can kind of see as we're going along, how they pull sections out of the print and then use that as their inspiration for the solid pieces, right? So it's pretty, I, I just love this brand, it's so fun. Okay, $89.99, size medium. Okay, two dresses left and we're gonna get under, under our 45 minutes. Okay, so uh, in these guys we just, oh no, we did have a jacket in this dress, I forgot. Okay, so we had a little jean style jacket earlier, which you definitely could put on if you wanna be sort of like, you know, double duty, it's okay, I, I'm fine, yeah. They can use their imagination. So earlier in the video, we had the jean jacket. So for me, that's how I would dress it. I definitely would, I'm a sort of print on print person. You definitely could do black on this print as well. So um, it does have a sleeve. It does have a black um, side panel. So that's a brilliant piece, right? Just gives you that automatic hourglass shape. And um, zip up the back. Just a nice, easy summer dress. Really, really flattering how they've done the seaming on here. So the eye just automatically goes and gives you that hourglass. And last but not least is another kind of 80s print, right? Like it is definitely kind of has that checkerboard kind of feel to it. Like you're gonna remember those like, um, those runners that had like the checkerboards on them. Like that kind of reminds me a little bit of this dress. Um, and really a little bit kind of pop art um, in the drawing part. So let's see what the artist says. See if I'm right. Dora Fisher, and it's called Happiness. So that's probably pretty good. The 80s were a pretty happy, happy decade, right? It was before most of us had responsibilities and stuff. So why, how, how could we not be happy? Okay, and so this one, um, again, has the, uh, the bad, uh, can't talk, has the side uh, panels on the, on the, on the front here and then also a little bit more of a casual styling with that little bit of a button and a knee length dress so none of these are really short this is just a nice contemporary women's wear brand 
Um, but again, it just has that comfort, right? Like this one is a little bit more spandexy than the other ones. It's not lined, it's just a single layer. Um, yeah, so that is the art of fashion. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, we will be uh, marking these guys down uh, for Thursday and Friday until six, and then they go back to regular price on Saturday. Um, on Saturday, our capacity is up to 50%. So please, um, if you're driving by, pop in and visit. Uh, we have tons and tons and tons of great summer stuff uh, left. And um, because of course, summer in Gimli is just starting, right? So if you think you're in need of maybe a new bathing suit, if you've worn your bathing suit every single day this week and you're really like, okay, like I gotta get a new bathing suit, uh, now's the time. If you think I hate every pair of shorts in my closet, uh, now's the time. So we have lots and lots of great uh, summer selection left. And yeah, so we are here to help you seven days a week, uh, Monday to Saturday, nine to six, 12 to four on Sunday. And I look forward to seeing you guys for Fashion Friday next week. And we'll talk to you soon. Talk to you guys later, bye.